And with the retail sector picking up, aviation is also looking at clearer skies. Passenger traffic at Changi Airport is on track to make a full recovery by the first half of next year or even before that. Well, that's according to Acting Transport Minister Chi Hong Tat. And to further fuel the growth of Singapore's aviation sector, some 4,300 jobs are available. While the sector is poised to take off, some challenges do remain, Mr Chi said during the launch of an aviation career fair. All this includes intensifying competition from neighbouring air hubs. Well, that is why a refreshed plan was announced to ensure the sector continues to grow. One key strategy, developing a workforce that can keep up with technology. We will also aim to leverage new technologies to support our older workers, such as helping them to learn new skills, redesigning existing jobs and using robots to make the work physically easier to perform. And we will also use artificial intelligence and other technology tools to augment our human workers and to amplify their productivity and output. Uh, growing the aviation sector will require fresh talent. This as the country faces a tight labour market and an ageing workforce. So apart from making sure workers have the skills to stay relevant, reaching out to youth is also a priority. We will not be able to continue growing our workforce as we had in the past due to our ageing population. The aviation sector will have to contend with an increasingly tight local labour market, together with other sectors in the Singapore economy. To create more interest among young people, the Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore signed three MOUs with the National Youth Council, the Singapore Scout Association and the Singapore University of Technology and Design. Well, automated baggage, conveyor belts and self-drying cargo vehicles, these are just some new systems being tested at Changi Airport to make journeys smoother for passengers and to better support aviation workers. Claude Lim takes a look at how innovation is changing aviation operations. This roller track conveyor system may look like a simple innovation, but it is one example of how well-designed automation can make an impact. Stretching right into the belly of a plane, it makes loading and unloading baggage easier and safer. That's a welcome change for workers from ground handling company SATS. Prior to this, we were using the conventional uh, towable sky loaders where we do not have the extra help of the rollers that can be extended into the cargo belly hole, so we have to do it much manually. Mr Nabil says his team handles more than 200 planes every day, so small changes add up to big gains. To actually keep up with that, we need to explore various solutions and uh, innovations to actually help us on our daily basis. So with this solution, we are actually more efficient, more productive and lesser injuries for our staff. The One Aviation Career Fair also saw other new innovation that SATS has introduced at Changi. These include automated guided carts that help transport food to airport lounges. These carts have sensors that allow them to follow a person. This means workers don't have to push the cart, which could weigh up to 100 kilograms. We will transform our airport operations by accelerating the adoption of automation and technology and to equip our workers with the necessary skills to take on the new job roles. Other companies also display their technology, including these self-driving vehicles that transport baggage and cargo. Mr Chi says trials are progressing well and a small fleet is expected to be deployed at the airport in the next two years.